Okay, so I'm doing this as a video because there's just so much to see, but this is officially Robin's Pony Room. So as we come in down the hallway, this is in the basement by the way, but there's a back hallway. The first thing you see, unopened play sets, a whole bunch of storage bins. They're all labeled Mitten Box G3, Mitten Box G4. Um, I've already counted, but I, I wrote it down somewhere, didn't memorize it. There's something like 650 unopened G3, there's a couple hundred unopened G4, there's 600 something loose G3, um, a hundred or so loose G4. I don't even know how many G1, I didn't count those yet. Um, 318 McDonald's ponies, it's, it's crazy. So, the bins, um, this row, these are all loose G1s that are extra. <laughs> um, so like that, second to the last says G1 trade, that one says G1. Um, that is G3 plush and styling size, meal order and euros. I think I've actually changed what's in that bin because most of those are on display. So yeah, there's a ton of stuff here. I've also jammed things into the edges just to have space. This little box here is my childhood pony, so they're going to go upstairs eventually, but I don't have a place for them yet. Um, so yeah, these are across the top mitten box G4 stuff. There are two different pop-up tents. There's a play set. There's the Costco, I'm sorry, Sam's Club set. No, it is Costco. Okay. A lot of cool stuff. Then I have the Comic-Con box up there. I forget what I put in there, but it's ponies. So <laughs> here's my merchandise wall. It's all piled up on top of this antique dresser. So there is basically a ton of stuff here. Um, it's all generations mixed together. There's not a lot of G2. There's only a, a couple things that are G2, but mostly, um, there's probably more G3 than anything I would say. Um, but G4, there's probably close to maybe, maybe even more G4. There's been a lot of G4 stuff at least. So it's very possible there's more friendship is magic than anything. Um, buried in the back, as you can see, these are mitten box G3 play sets. I didn't really have enough place to display them. These are the two Toys R Us four packs. Um, you know, one of them has finger paints and I don't remember what's in those right now. <laughs> and then we've got more G3 play sets buried up in here. You can just barely see the twist and st style pedal parlor. But yeah, and there's creepy G1 stuff. There's awesome G4 stuff. There's some puzzles. I have more puzzles in the closet. I ran out of space. There's my G1 sewing machine. I know the box is really beat up, but it still works. There's a Pinkie Pie pinata, a G1 canteen, a bunch of different lunch boxes and carry cases and all kinds of stuff here. I love it. Piled up back behind these, there are shoe boxes. So there are 12 different shoe boxes here full of stuff. Um, I've changed what's in them. So like this one really is just shoes. I have so many G1 shoes and slippers and roller skates that that box is almost full. Obviously, eventually I need to sell some accessories at some point. The drawers of this dresser are completely loaded. Um, the top one. This is random G3 and G4 accessories need to be sorted. This is probably the only merchandise, well, these two only merchandise things are in here. It's really just accessories and stuff. This one is all G1 accessories. Some of its clothes that go in the shoe boxes hasn't been sorted yet, so that's another project to get to in a future day. This used to be just G1 and then I ran in a space for G3 stuff, so it's a combination now. Um, I've got my pony purses hiding down in here, both of them. Um, oh, I have an extra. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Old G1 pillow. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a couple Butterick patterns in here. There's some Hasbro booklets. Fun story, I actually bought this from Summer at the Fair 2014. These are awesome. So this is totally My Little Pony panties. These are like sort of boxers. They've got snuzzle on them. Um, a friend of mine sent these to me from England and they are the best things ever. So <laughs> I actually have two pairs. The other one's really upstairs in my dresser because I'm that awesome. 
um, middle drawers. This is stickers, a few notebooks, and two packs of stampers. So I have a lot of pony stickers. <laughs> There's probably more G3 than G4 here because I was always buying those for years and years. Middle drawer. This is the G3 coloring books. There's a huge stack of them there. Um, and some random G4 stuff. It's It got harder to sort things and make it make sense as I was running out of space. So it makes sense in my head, but that's pretty much it. This is any kind of paperwork. It's stuff I've gotten at fairs that remind me of ponies. It's things that came off of ponies. Like this is from a pack of bracelets from Party City. Um, these are the... You know, the uh, packets for the sticker book, but from Argentina. I got my G2 game in here. Um, there's a bunch of G3 pamphlets in the bottom. There's some empty blind bags. There's, you know, other stuff like that. There's also cards and letters and things I've gotten from pony people, like Easter card swap, stuff like that. It's in that drawer. This is packed full. <laughs> um, this is... G4 coloring books. There are two different stacks. There are a few notebook folders in here and then the mini coloring books, G3 and G4 mixed together. There's a ton of G4 pencils, um, sticky pads, notepads. It's basically like pony office supplies right here. It's kind of awesome. This one used to be party stuff, but again, it got harder to keep it organized when I ran out of space. So plus this door gets stuck. So it's a mixture of stuff. There's a couple diaries in the top. Um, this is also where my animation cells are stored. Obviously not a very good storage space. We're going to call this temporary, but that's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, eventually I'll have time to go through these and organize it better, but right now they are safe. Let's see if I can get this closed again. See, if I can't even get in the drawer, no one else is going to either. So that's good. And this top one is mostly books, but I also put in a few loose posters and the really big coloring book that I couldn't fit anywhere else. So, um, a lot of books though, uh, G1, G3, and G4. Most of the G4 though are in Amelia's room. So I don't officially own them right now. I guess I'll get them back when she's older, <laughs> but otherwise there's a bunch of G3 books in here. And then of course the mint and package Sea Pony bath time books, which I love. They're awesome. So, moving on from here, still on the merchandise wall, we have a bunch of really awesome mail order ponies. Um, in the back, I've got all the friends and pets. Sorry, it's too dark. I didn't want to have the flash on. Um, but yeah, I've got two princess dragons up there. And then my mail order is two different mitten package cuddles. The reason I kept both is because they're slightly different colors. Um, Dancing Butterflies, Baby Dancing Butterflies is upstairs somewhere, so I've got to find her. My other porcelains are upstairs too, but there's Firstborn, and then some other mint and package babies, and some awesome mail orders. And then down here, this is my uh, UK shelf. Well, UK and Germany. Um, some of the German babies are, are stashed up here too, mostly in the back, back there. Looks like one of them fell down. These are all the dream beauties I have. Obviously, need to work on that. Same with the sea ponies. I'm going to need to tackle those next. There's my horde of Megans. I think there are 14 there. Yeah. Uh, beneath that, we've got my pretty pony. Um, I've got a pink one that faded to yellow, so it looks more like peachy. I've got the pink one in box and the brown one in box. The brown one's actually never been played with. The accessories are still in the package and everything. Um, I've got my soft, sleepy newborns, which are not soft at all. It's a pop-up game that I got from Shannon from Retro Dolls. And those two boxes down there beneath those, those are completely full of McDonald's ponies. Um, <laughs> when I find more, um, because I haven't counted it out and added it to the box yet, I'm stashing it in that bag right there. So there's another 12 or so in that little grocery bag. Um, I've got a couple places on the floor so that when Amelia comes down here with me, she has something to play with. And I can let her, you know, dig into other accessories and stuff. Um, the bottom bin here is just plushies from my childhood. They're not ponies. It's other stuff, Care Bears and stuff like that. And then the top bin is the G3 babies that talk. So I've labeled it a live baby G3 plush things, which is kind of accurate. 
This, I found, is the best way to store the giant castle playset because that thing keeps coming apart and it's driving me crazy. So I keep it in the bag, but it's still on display. Eventually I'll take off the stickers, but you know. Over here, we've got my desk and my G4 display. So the point in this desk is so that I can go into the closet, which is right here next to it, and I can take out stuff that's all my non-pony stuff stashed in there, take pictures of it right here, put it up for sale, and then safely put it back in the closet. So I'm going to have more pens, labels, things like that down here. This is basically going to be like a sale workstation, which is something I really, really need. So, yeah. But I've got lots of pony stuff, mostly G4 up here. I've got the 2013 Pony Fair Pony and the 2014 Pony Fair Pony. Um, the rest of them are boxed up, but here are these. Actually, the rest of them are in that box, as a matter of fact. So, yeah. Lots of pony stuff over here. I am fixing the thing that's next to me because it's starting to fall, which makes me very, very sad. Um, I spent some time just now using archival photo tape to hang up a few of my items of merchandise on the door. Um, eventually I'm going to add posters too, but I thought it was really awesome to do this. And I love it. But that little bag, the trick-or-treat bag, is already falling, so I've got to find a way to fix it. Um, the t-shirt is very new. I got it just a few months ago, but it's got G1 ponies on it. Um, Fireflies, the only one you can see the symbol of, but two of them are rainbow ponies. One looks like Glory, and then... I don't know who the other one behind Firefly is. It could be anybody with pink hair. Um, Pinkie Pie stocking, which is awesome. Some G3 stickers, treat bag, coloring book, and a balloon. I'm going to have posters over here. Haven't hung them up yet because I ran out of double-sided tape. So we've come to the wall. <laughs> so this is the majority of my G1 collection. They're quite a few individual things that aren't up here yet. Um, like I took down all the collector's ponies so I could sort through them and see which ones I wanted to keep since I have so many and they all end up being so different. There's also some babies that are on the shelf right now, but they're either upstairs like they're recent additions or they're in a box. I haven't pulled them out yet, but soon that will be completely full. Um, this box here is everything I have that's G2. So all of my loose G2 ponies are stuffed in there. There's about 12 mint on card G2 ponies, and then there is the, um, Wedding Chapel with Dainty Dove and the Pretty Parlor with Ivy, both in box in there. So I didn't really have a place to display them. This keeps them safe and with the rest of my collection. This is a giant box thrown together of G1 play sets and larger piece accessories. And then the same thing here with the two boxes of G3 stuff, because there's nothing that I need more than extra G3 play sets. I rescued them from the thrift, thrift stores. I don't know why I should stop doing it, but I'm probably still going to do it. So at least Amelia will have fun when she's down here. So the top row, these are mail orders starting with these. Um, I've set this up to where you can kind of get a comparison. Like these are the store bought and these are the mail order. I did the same thing with these, you know, these are 1983, these are 1984 when they got re-released. So short hair, long hair. Um, it doesn't make sense to many other people besides me and some other hardcore collectors, but I swear it makes sense. <laughs> oh, my so softs. I want to show you these. These, it took me so long to get a collection of so soft ponies that are in pretty much mint condition. And I love these guys. They are so awesome. It also means that I have a ridiculous number of extra so soft ponies. Um, a lot of them are deflock bait and then others. I sold a couple at the fair, but not very many. So they're pretty sweet. My big brothers, most of the big brother accessories are in the drawers. So I have a couple more bandanas and hats and stuff. I don't have all of them though. I've got to figure out what I still need. Um, the only boy pony I need is Leaper because he's a jerk and he's hard to find. The rest of my wingers aren't here. They're in a box. I got Lavender Woozy. Got my rock and beat ponies. Lots of fun stuff. Princesses. Um, I think I'm still missing one birth flower pony. Because up here, we, you know, it's obviously a long line, but there's Little Tot and Stockings. And I think um, it might be January. I might still be missing January. I'm not sure. I'm also missing Magenta Satin and Lace because she still evades me. <laughs> um, 
are the ponies. These two are from when I was a kid, but I haven't been able to find other ones yet, so they're not in the childhood box. They're still on display. Eventually, I'll replace them and, and get some other ones so I can have those with my childhood stuff. The purple twins, I got one from somebody, um, but I still need to find the second. That's one of the last things I need for G1, for regular ponies anyway. Um, I still have to go through and tackle Sweetheart Sisters and Sea Ponies, but otherwise I'm almost done here, which is kind of awesome. Empty space on the shelf for me to add more stuff, which I like, and I'll see what I put there. Um, my tennis rackets are hiding in the back. The other one is hanging right there. There's an interesting story about these. See, no one else had ever seen them, and somebody on the TP, on the MLP TP, was in Iceland, <laughs> and she had these. And I paid $30 to ship these to California from Iceland, and I'm pretty sure the mailman thought I was insane, but, you know, it's really cool to have something that no one else has. I've never seen anyone else post those. It's, it's a badminton set. They're not really tennis, but... It's so cool. So that's something I'm really proud of. So we are pretty much done. Um, the only play set in box not over here would be the two G2 ones. Um, and then I have the show stable. I'm not sure where I put it. <laughs> These two, this isn't actually the show stable. That is uh, Home Sweet Home. It comes in the same box, but you can tell it's different when you see ponies not included on the box. And then color of products are different from those shown. So they kept the same box, just added extra stuff to it. And that's how you know it's home sweet home without opening it. And obviously Megan's place is below that. So that was cool. I was the first one to figure that out and pat myself on the back for that. <laughs> the last thing I forgot to show you, up on the top here, above these guys, there is the UK grooming parlor. And then there's two different places from Argentina. This is the... Um, it says boutique, so I don't know if I should call it Pretty Parlor or Brush and Beautiful Boutique, but either way, it's the parlor, but it's pink, and all the accessories are different colors. And the same thing with the um, baby buggy. Uh, the buggy looks the same. The wheels are purple, as opposed to like a pinkish mauve color on the regular one. The wheels are actually purple. And then the blanket it comes with, and the pillow... It's um like a whitish blue fabric with strawberries on it. So it's totally different than what the US one comes with in every other country I've seen. So we'll accept Greek. Greek one's different too, but yeah, that's something that's pretty awesome, I think. And hopefully someone else is still watching this video and they'll think it's cool too. So yeah, this is really long now. So thank you for watching and maybe someday you can visit and come check it out yourself. Bye.